would open today's video with just my morning routine. I was so excited about decorating the tree today that I actually woke up extra early and went downstairs to make my coffee. I ate the same breakfast every morning. I ate a blueberry Thomasville bagel and drank coffee with peppermint mocha creamer. I love these still mornings where I'm able to just spend a little time by myself and have some quiet. I usually read my Bible and just really soak in those early morning hours as the sun rises. After this, we go ahead and we do some homeschool. I captured a tiny bit of this, but man, that eats up a huge part of our morning. Rosie's face is cracking me up, but that's okay. We love the time that we get together. We're putting up our Christmas tree. I am mentally preparing to put up our Christmas tree today. It is officially December. <laughs> I don't think I've ever waited this long to get my tree up, but our tree finally arrived in the mail. It's over there. Doing this kind of stuff and recording it with three little ones is so difficult. Yeah. Our house just gets destroyed all the time. And I'm yes. picking it up all the time. And but also, I can't believe overnight, I don't know who does this, but it keeps getting messy and we have to clean it every, <laughs> every day. So I'm gonna show you guys the new tree that I got. I'll look up the name of it. I got it at Home Depot. I'm excited. It's kind of a more natural looking tree than I've had before. This morning, we've just been getting ready, um, eating some breakfast, having some homeschool. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I got started at 6.30 and somehow it's already 11 o'clock and we still haven't gotten started on this. So, gotta do this pronto. The girls are gonna help me and I'm gonna take y'all along with me. Okay guys, and I'm also going to attempt to do like a 12 days of Christmas kind of thing. This is a huge undertaking <laughs> for me, but we're gonna do our best. We're gonna try to do some fun Christmas activities and the 12 days leading up to Christmas, I will be uploading those videos. So look out for those. What are you doing? <laughs> You're taking that big <laughs> Christmas tree collar off of the plant that we currently have there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're so sweet. Thank you for helping me. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for getting that. All that dog hair. Yeah. Putting these kids to work. She really is. <laughs> Okay, so our Christmas tree came in. I'm gonna cut it open with some scissors and we're gonna see what it looks like. You guys, look at this massive wreath that Josh bought me. It is, it's so big. It's bigger than my mom. Look how big this thing is. I was planning on putting it on the front door of our house, but there's no way that that thing would have fit on the front of our house. Okay, so um, it looks massive. Um, it's like a box. Rosie, please stop talking while I'm talking. Open this thing, okay, gosh. <laughs> Here I am trying to figure out how to open this thing and it literally says in giant letters, open this end. What I really liked about this is that all of the branches look super realistic. I think there's only a few on the inside that are kind of like that typical Christmas tree material. I was thinking we could do the green side because Christmas is more about green, not pink and white. You wanna try that? Maybe we can try it in both ways. Okay, yeah, we can do the green for half of the Christmas and then the other half we might just have to do something. Great idea. And this is what this looks like all laid out. So the only real thing I'm worried about is the if, tree not there. Well, yeah, the tree's not there yet, but I'm wondering if this might just be like too much with our decorations. You know, we live in a small house and with like all of our Christmas decorations, I'm a little bit worried that it might be kind of overwhelming. So we're gonna try this. Some of you guys said to also like put this, <laughs> see if I can do this one-handed. And put the um, tree collar over the tree skirt to like, have it coming out. The only thing here is that we have a robot vacuum. And so I'm a little bit worried about it kind of like snagging the edges of this. But I don't know, before we put the tree on, what do you guys think about this solution for it?
Okay, so y'all, I'm obsessed with this tree. Look at this. Look how pretty that is. And look, it's super natural looking. Again, I will link this tree in the description. I think it was about like $300, which is so much for me. But honestly, I've been looking to get a new tree for years. And Josh has told me that every year, he's like, babe, just get it, just get it. And I can't, I always like find some reason not to get it, but I'm so grateful I got it. It's super tall. As, as you can see, it's a seven foot. Let me give you just kind of like a close up of the branches. I love how realistic looking it is. The, the fake ones are really deep in there, but I really love that it has this really natural shape too. I might need to spruce it up a little bit here. I love that there's like pieces that stick out. It doesn't look like so uniform, but dang, this one is bigger than our one that we had before. I'm in love. What do you think, Rue? You like it? Yeah. Yes, we do. Okay, so next, I think that we're gonna do some garland. What do you think about that, Rue? I've got some like wood ones that are supposed to look like little cranberries. We do have real cranberries to make a cranberry garland this year, but maybe we'll use it somewhere that's not actually on the tree. All right, let's get started on that. All right, just to let you know how things are going. It's now lunchtime. Literally this whole entire thing took up our whole morning. Ivy's now ready to nurse again, and she pooped all over her seat. Oh, don't sit in there, don't sit in there. It's covered in poop. I bought these like little red, almost like cranberry looking beads. I bought one set one year and another set the next year. And of course these are like a dark red and shiny and these are like a light red and matte. So that's Amazon for you. We're gonna use them anyway, cause it's all we got. And look who pooped everywhere. Hi, did you poopy? Did you poopy all over everything? You did. Is he supposed to be like a green dog or something? The Grinch? He's not supposed to be anything, he's just supposed to be a Grinch. What's a Grinch? Mom? There's no, that is a Grinch. There's no other explanation. Here they are, the cranberries. And we actually just got to the fun part, which is the ornaments. Okay, so how I do these is I've got these big ones. They're like so junky. I bought these at the dollar store like 10 years ago. Um, I'm actually thinking about maybe just doing gold this year just because my other pieces are so heavy in gold. I also have these Target ones that I was talking about in a previous video that I was hoping that I would kind of be able to avoid using this year and then I've got these white glass ones and these pretty little pearlescent ones in this box hey what is that flowers flowers that's a pine cone you goofball yeah and then in this box I've got all of the flowers. repetitive stuff so anything that has like multiple of the same thing so I've got these little stars these beautiful glass vintage ones down here that are like walnuts and pine cones. I've got these pretty brass horns that I got from the garage sale that I showed you. These were actually all made by me. They're little woodland characters and some ones that I made out of apples and cinnamon. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these this year. I've always used these before, but I feel like I'm starting to get away from like a woodland theme, which is kind of what I was going for maybe like eight years ago when I made these. I actually made these originally for a mobile for Rosie's room. And then after she had grown out of her crib and everything, I turned them into ornaments. Here is all of our like unique things. I'm, I need to go through and kind of just see which ones I want to keep, which ones I want to get rid of. But for the most part, these are ones that um, we use every year as well as some that were like gifted to us. You guys ready to get started? Yep, you. You. <laughs> so it's time to do these big ornaments first. I'm gonna see if I can just use the gold ones. If it feels kind of sparse, then I'll put in the silver ones too. Okay, so for these larger bulbs, I try to put them like on a, a more inner branch just because it always seems kind of weird to me to have like giant ball ornaments like hanging off of the like far ends of things. So I generally try to keep things as like close in as I can.
Okay, so looking at the, the large ornaments, I do think I'm gonna wind up using the silver ones too, just because I feel like there's not a, enough of the gold ones. You wanna help me put some silver ones on? Yeah, I want this one. And that one. So I have these little oranges that I made. Let's see them right here. I made these a couple years ago, but I don't know, they're just looking like super dark. Like honestly, if I, put them next to even my shirt, like without a light lighting them up, they look really dark. And so I just bought some oranges and I think we're gonna make some new ones for the tree this year, but it probably won't happen today. lint brush but each one of these I cut out and sewed together by hand they were a little project that I did of course they're like collecting every single piece of hair in this entire house but I'm not gonna throw them away just because I've spent so much time on them but they're still so cute you know what I take it back I'm gonna put a couple of them on the tree <laughs> Okay, so here she is in all of her glory. I'm gonna give you just a little tour. Got these cute little brass horns that I got from that garage sale. A couple of little Target trucks and stuff like that, but these pretty glass pine cones, some of these cinnamon apple ornaments that I made. This was my favorite one for like forever when I was younger. It's pretty little birds, some of the kind of kitschier ones back here. This pretty one that my sister made for us. Oh, I should have included this guy in one of my hauls because he is new this year. He was from a garage sale too, a little vintage Santa. I love these ones. I know that these are older, but man, I just think they're so beautiful. More little vintage horns. More, oh, this cute little brass bell, one of the ones that I showed you. These we got from our friends Lauren and Cody Medina at one of their shows that they have. They've got all kinds of brass items that they sell. Hey yo! This was actually the first gift that I ever got for Josh. I didn't even realize it was an ornament at the time, but we, I don't even think we were dating yet, but I went to Colorado and I wanted to get him something that showed him that I was thinking about him. So I've got a little house, one of these other little cinnamon apple ones that I made. Another little guy, little moose. Come around here. Got some pretty cardinals over here. This is Ruby's hand, I think. I'm almost positive. A little lantern down here. This piano is, um, it was from Josh's grandma. She recently passed, but it was pretty sweet. Here's my, my ornament that I showed you guys recently. Cute little brass trumpet. Can you guys tell that I love brass? This one I painted at a little Christmas get together. I based it off of a Sufjan Stevens album cover. Got a little nutcracker over here. Lots of ones that are like gifts from grandparents and stuff like that. So yeah, this is, this is her in all of her glory. Back up a little bit so you guys can see the whole thing from the vintage tree skirt to the collar that I got at Target. I'm deciding to use both of them right now. You guys, I am absolutely in love with this tree. I love how it turned out. This is by far my favorite tree that I've ever done before. So, all right, and here it is all together and all of our ornaments and junk on the table. I'll try to back it up though so you can't see all that. We decided to do Christmas at our house this year. So we're actually going to have a lot of presents under this tree at some point, but now while it's nice and pre clean and pretty, I'm gonna get it on film. Okay, everybody. Well, thank you so much for joining me today as I decorated my Christmas tree. Oh my gosh, that was a lot. I'm pretty sure I've had like four nursing sessions and lots of interruptions, lots of breaks, lots of kiddos happy and sad. And if you are a mother who stays home with her kiddos, or if you ever have been a mother who stays home with her kiddos, holler at me because you guys know how this season is and I'm just so thankful that you guys have been patient with me getting this video up. I told y'all I am not the best YouTuber. I'm like literally just trying to live my life and do this in the meantime. So thank you so much for your patience. I had a lot of fun doing this today. I am so in love with our new tree. I feel like it looks worlds better than it ever did before. Maybe I can show you a picture of the tree that we had before. It wasn't bad. It just like, uh, it's, it's just so much better this year. And I'm so grateful that we were able to make the decision to buy a new tree this year. We are so blessed. I also feel so blessed this year that you guys have come along with me on this journey. Thank you so much for your support 
support. Seriously, I have been overwhelmed by the amount of comments and encouragement that I've received. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And as you can see, I still am trying to respond to each and every comment that I get. So I care about y'all and I cannot wait to see you next time. Thank you.